Let me show you how you can boost your Laravel apps using one command. And I promise, I'm not even joking. Let's get going. Let's begin by constructing a new Laravel app. And I promise we're gonna go quick. So I'd like to sort of vibe code an app to provide exams about the Laravel framework to guest users. So let's give this a run. I'm gonna use view here and I will do view, but with no authentication scaffolding, which at the time of this recording is brand new to Laravel. I'm gonna use pest and we'll give that a run. All right, so let's CD in there. And of course, because I have heard installed, I can visit exams.test in the browser to view the project. Let's do that now. Exams.test and bada bing, bada boom, we're all set to go. All right, so now let's boost our Laravel app from the get-go. Let's run composer require Laravel boost in dev mode. All right, so the name's a bit on the nose, but I promise you're gonna love this. All right, so what exactly is boost? Well, let's go to boost.laravel.com. And here we can see that Laravel Boost accelerates AI assisted development by providing the essential context and structure that AI needs to generate high quality Laravel specific code. And effectively what that translates to is well, three things. First up, it includes an MCP server with a big handful of tools that are now available to your AI agent. And I promise we're gonna talk about that more quite a bit in just a moment. Next, it includes comprehensive AI guidelines, which you can think of as basically a giant markdown file that is dynamically generated based upon the packages that you have installed. It's basically going to nudge the AI in the right direction according to how we would probably want to construct our Laravel apps. And then finally, it has documentation API with built-in MCP tool, which basically means in the event that AI needs to learn more, it can access the most up-to-date documentation based upon the version of the package that you have installed. Compare this to traditional scenarios where it's just using the knowledge it has, which in so many cases, and we've all experienced this, in so many cases is wildly out of date and no longer relevant. All right, so let's play around. If I run PHP Artisan and scroll to the top, you'll see that we now have some new boost specific uh, Artisan commands. And of course, this is the one we want. PHP Artisan boost install. All right, so I want the MCP server, I want the guidelines, and also I'm a big fan of herd, so I will install that as well. All right, next, which editors do you use? Of course, yours will be unique compared to mine. I'm kind of at a weird situation right now where I'm playing around with a lot of editors, so I will enable all of them. Next, which agents do you use? And it's sort of the same thing right now. In your case, just choose the one that you prefer. Uh, very likely that's probably Claude Code at the time of this recording. So I will turn all of those on. All right, so now notice, yeah, it's inspecting our composer.json file and it's preparing the necessary guidelines based upon what it detected. So in this case, it knows, all right, you're using pest. So here are some guidelines. Oh, you're using pints. Oh, you're using tailwind. Oh, I see you have view and inertia. So let's make sure again that we use that information to construct the guidelines that we provide to the AI agent. All right, so this is looking pretty good to me. The final step is to basically make your editor aware of these MCP servers. So let's go right here. And if I scroll down, yeah, just follow the steps for the editor that you are currently using. In this case for PHP Storm, we wanna search for MCP settings in our settings area and then enable the Laravel Boost server. So command comma to open my settings. And yep, let's look for MCP settings. And if we are using Juni, which is JetBrains' uh, AI assistant, we would turn these on. All right, so now, yeah, if you are using Juni, it now is aware and familiar and can access Laravel Boost, which is great. However, my guess is most of you probably prefer Claude Code. So why don't we use that for the remainder of this video? Let's run Claude to boot it up. And of course, I already have that installed. However, if you wanna install it, it's very simple. Simply visit the documentation, run this command, and then you can run the Claude command. It's wildly easy to get set up. All right, back to the terminal. And sure enough, it detected our new MCP servers. All right, so if I run forward slash, we can see all of the various commands that we can run with Claude. And among those is MCP. So yeah, here are the three servers that are currently connected. So if we have a look at Boost, let's review the tools and we can see a big list of tools that Boost provides. 
All right, so now, yeah, at this point, you're thinking, well, that's great, Jeff. We have an MCP server. Wonderful. We have some tools. Amazing. What are these things? So let's do this. Let's take 30 seconds, uh, maybe 60 seconds, to, to figure out what all of this stuff actually is. So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's kind of a fancy term, but here's a really easy way to think about it. MCP provides an interface or an entry point into your application, or rather, it provides a secure entry point into your application for AI. So think about it like this. For a human, our entry point might be the browser. That is a, a mechanism, basically, for a human to interact with your project, right? If we're on the command line, then the CLI provides a nice interface into your project. But what about AI, right? It would be useful if AI could coordinate and interact with your project, again, in a secure way. So if it could do that, it would be interesting if it could do various tasks and things, right? So in the case of Laravel, it would be nice if AI could, for example, perform a database query. It would be helpful if it could read my log file. Uh, it would be helpful if it could read the browser logs. It would be useful if it could run an artisan command, right? So each of these things that AI would like to do can be made available through or via our MCP server using various tools. So that's what a tool refers to. It's just a thing that AI can do uh, with your project, which is cool. And yeah, sure enough, we can see a massive list, a growing list, of the things it can do here. We can report feedback to Ashley who built this. Uh, we can run a database query. We can search the documentation. We can read the log files. We can run uh, Tinker. We can list the routes. You get the idea. It's incredibly helpful. All right, back to work. So let's start with something simple. How many users are in my DB? All right, so it's gonna know, all right, I need to perform a database query. And what do you know, Laravel Boost has a tool available to me. So I will run this query and it's gonna ask me, is that okay? Yeah, you're good. Give it just a second. And sure enough, there are zero users in my database. Okay, very cool. So now let's do something a little more extensive. We have a fresh project. I'd like to vide code this. So why don't we say, I want to build an application that provides exams to beginning users. Now, I'm not gonna make you watch me write this whole thing out. So through the magic of screencasting, I'm gonna fast forward. All right, and this is what I got. So we're gonna build an application that provides exams to beginning users about the Laravel framework. They are available to guests, which means you don't have to sign in. And each exam consists of five Laravel questions for beginners. Each one includes a title, a description, and then four choices to choose from. Upon completing and submitting the exam, we should grade it and provide the results to the user. For example, you scored five out of five. That's 100%. All right, so let's give it a run. And now we wait and wait and wait. But actually, while we're waiting, let's have a look real quick. I'm going to return to PHPStorm. So yeah, right up here, we can see some new dot directories. You can basically ignore these, but of course, if you decide to stop using Juni or VS Code, feel free to delete those. But yeah, if I scroll to the bottom, we'll see our Claude Markdown file. And yeah, this is the guideline portion of what Boost provides. This file is dynamically, once again, it's dynamically constructed based upon the packages that you have installed. So for example, here's what it detected, and it's gonna use that. So for example, I'm using Inertia 2. So I bet there's something related to Inertia 2, and there is. And notice it has information on what V2 provides, and it has up-to-date documentation that AI can reach for. You've probably seen this yourself. Maybe it gives you some guidance about Inertia, but it's the Inertia 1 way, and AI doesn't know, wait a minute, you could use deferred props instead, and this would be wildly simpler to implement. Well, now, with this guideline, you're not going to have to deal with that. It will detect, all right. You're using Inertia 2, and I see that it does include support for prefetching or deferred props. And if I need to learn more, there is a search tool where I can interact with the up-to-date documentation for that package. Uh, next, we have things like do things the Laravel way. So always reach for a make command to build up a controller or a migration. Uh, when using or interacting with the database, avoid the DB facade. Most of the time, that's not what you want. You get the idea. Uh, it's incredibly useful. All right, so back to the terminal. How are we doing? And it wants to know, can I make a migration? Yes, you can make a migration. 
So yeah, at this point, what do you do? Uh, you wait, right? Is this the future of programming? I don't know, but at least for now, we get coffee, we confirm, and we just sit around. So maybe we do something like this. We're ready, we're all set. All right, the application is now ready to use. Users can visit exams to test it out and we can see all of the details it implemented. There should even be tests. So let's give this a run. PHP Artisan test and everything's passing. I'm excited to try this out. All right, exams.test, take Laravel quiz and looks pretty good actually. So why don't we work through this together? Start the quiz. Which method is used to validate request data in Laravel? And by the way, it's really important that I get an A. It would be really bad if a Laracast teacher fails the beginner quiz. What is the default database driver in Laravel? It's SQLite now. What file contains environment-specific config, ENV? What syntax is used to echo data in Blade? Well, that would work, that would work. No, three of these would work, which is a little misleading. My guess is they want this one. All right, which artisan command is used to create a new migration? Make migration. All right, so we give it a run and whoa, four, four out of five, what did I miss here? What is the default database driver in Laravel? MySQL, no it's not. I'm 98%, I'm 99% sure that it was changed to SQLite. So I'm taking the win on that one. But nonetheless, you get the idea. This is incredibly impressive. So let's do this. Let's go back to our editor. And I'm gonna bring up the inline terminal and boot up Claude. And let's say, has anyone taken the exam yet? And as you can imagine, it will need to query the database. So it will make use of the database query tool. And sure enough, there's one exam session recorded in the database, that's great. All right, so now let's have a look. Open up the sidebar, let's go into our controllers and let's just play around here. So let's see, yeah, I mean, you might do things a little bit differently. You might reach for an action or something else, but that's okay. And, and by the way, you can create your own custom guidelines to further nudge AI in the right direction. So we have a way to start the exam. We have a submit action. And yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect. Loop over the user's answers. Grab the choice, see if the choice was correct and increment their score. Let's imagine you're working here though, and maybe you make a mistake, something like this. Well, we know if we were to run the test, it's now gonna fail, right? And further, if I were to bring back the browser, if we run it again like this, and I won't make you watch this, now upon submitting it, we're going to get an error. And I'm doing this because now we have an error in our log file that AI can reference. So let's have a look here. Once again, bring back Claude, and I'm gonna say, a new error was introduced. Read the logs and fix the issue. All right, so even if I hadn't told it to read the logs, it would know to do that. And sure enough, it's gonna read the latest log. And again, it's gonna use a tool for that. All right, so it looks like there was an issue here. It fixes the bug and we should be all set. So let's close this out. PHP Artisan test, we're all set to go. Come on. You have to admit, give it a refresh. This is wildly impressive stuff. I'd even go as far as saying it is depressingly impressive. I'm not sure how much longer we have to be honest, but while we are here for however many years, uh, we should ride the wave because we can build some pretty cool stuff in the meantime. All right, so let me know, are you going to install Laravel Boost? And of course the answer should be Absolutely. I mean, I would say at this point, it is effectively an essential tool. You have to install it, so do it.